A 35-year-old female receptionist comes up to you in your OPD complaining of pain experiencing at the tip of her tailbone, aggravated at the end of her long working hours. On examination, the physician finds her lower back slightly tender but not evident bruising was present over there. He orders an X-ray anterior posture and a lateral view of the sacrococcygeal area that revealed a fractured coccygeal bone. Now the question arises, what is the coccygeal bone and why it is important to study about it? Why was the pain aggravated at the end of the day since all she had to do was sit down on her chair? So today's bone under discussion is the coccyx. Let's unveil the interesting osteological facts of this small but interesting bone. So we are able to answer these questions at the end. Let's jump into the details without any further delay, so stick with me. If you appreciate the side view, you can see that the coccyx is the last part of the vertebral column, comes after the sacrum and is located in the pelvic girdle area. It is slightly curved inwards anteriorly. As we saw in our case study, the receptionist was constantly sitting for longer periods and that is why the coccyx bone was constantly under pressure, causing the painful condition, which is known as coccydenia. As for the name coccyx is concerned, it comes from a Greek origin, coccyx, meaning cuckoo bird, and that is because of its resemblance with its beak. If you look closely, it makes sense. Sometimes known as the tailbone, this teeny weeny bone at the end of your vertebral column is a vestigial remnant of the tails, probably present in our ancestors according to some theories. As it might shock you, but almost more than 100 cases have been recorded in which children were born with actual tails. Basically, it was an elongation of the coccyx bone. Interesting, right? Now, because of its location, it'll help us sit upright, it'll support our spinal column, and of course, support our backs too. If we zoom into the tailbone, we can see that it is not a single bone, but actually four bones fused together. See, coccyx 1, coccyx 2, coccyx 3, and coccyx 4. We have some physiological variants with five or three coccygeal bones as well, but clinically they do not exhibit any signs of worry. Just to give you an introduction, we'll be discussing the coccyx bone in three views. First of all, the dorsal view, which is basically the posterior view. The pelvic, or which is also known as the anterior surface, and then we have the lateral view, which is basically a side view. Although we call it a vestigial remnant, it has a very significant role to play. It is a key structure for the lumbopelvic girdle, which is formed by the teaming up of the different ligaments and the tip of the coccyx. We'll have a look at this as we go through our lecture. This girdle acts as a protection for many organs located in the pelvic region and also helps in the movements, as well as for many functional activities such as sitting and maintaining an upright posture as it is a very important part of the pelvic girdle. And also since it is present in the area, we can appreciate that the female birth organs are present here, so it plays a very pivotal role in housing these organs. The coccyx also helps in childbearing in women, and that is why it has different features in males and females, and I'll be discussing these features with you as we go through our lecture, and we'll be discussing the interesting details of this small but very important bone, which is known as the coccyx.